Nigel Perkins. Last week, Nigel Perkins flew to Monte Carlo with his wife to visit the son, Ronnie. Nigel and his wife go to Monte Carlo two or three times every year, between November and March, because Ronnie's too busy the other half of the year to be with them. They drove to Gatwick Airport on Wednesday morning and left the car at the airport parking lot. They had first class reservations for the two hour flight. The plane left Gatwick on time at a quarter past eleven and got to Monte Carlo ten minutes early at five minutes past one. Nigel and his wife weren't expecting to meet Ronnie at the airport, so they caught a taxi and went to his apartment near the port. They were surprised to find that their son weren't at home. Nigel didn't have a key to the apartment, so he and his wife spent some time looking at the shop windows along the street. After 20 minutes, they went back to the apartment building and tried again. Ronnie still wasn't there. The temperature was around 15 degrees and Nigel's wife felt a little cold. They decided to go to a small bookshop about 300 meters from Ronnie's apartment building. Nigel likes to spend time in bookshops, but his wife, Margaret, doesn't. So Nigel asked permission to use the telephone and called Ronnie's mobile number. Ronnie was in a meeting with a tour operator not far from the bookshop. He said he was sorry and told Nigel that the porter in his apartment building had a key to his apartment. Nigel and Margaret walked back to the building, called the porter and asked for key. Ronnie arrived two hours later. 